Good morning and happy new year. I hope you guys had a great start to this year. I've got a feeling this is gonna be a really good one. I've been starting off my days going to the gym because I did not do that enough last year and there's a gym in my building. Why wouldn't I use it? So I've been doing Pilates every morning. Pilates? Pilates. Pilates. But this morning I decided to do some strength training now that I feel like properly, what's the word, like flexible? A little, a little bit stretched out after the last few mornings. So it's been really good. What I really want to do today is I want to bring you guys with me on a little errand that we're going to run because I want to do a DIY. I want to go to the bead store. There's one somewhere in DDP Dongmyo area that I keep seeing pop up on TikTok and I really want to go and see if I can pick out some more. Okay, some nice beads so I can do like a charm necklace or bracelet. Also, I wanted to say a big thank you to you guys for all of the lovely feedback on my last video where I introduced you to Hayley. I was really, really happy reading all of the comments. You made my day, my week, my month, my year. Anyway, yeah, let's get this stuff cleaned up and I'm going to get on with my day. Still mad? Uh, I thought I need to apply before the new year. So I need to warn me that you're going to get to 2024 before I am. <laughs> Done. Oh, I have to show you this. Hold on. You guys are gonna freak out. It's so cute. Oh, it's got it's got dog hair on it. Already. I went shopping the other day and Haley spotted this for me. <laughs> it's a tiny handbag with little bows on it, and it's a keyring. So of course I had to get it. I had to get it. Absolute must. I will say I've been really good at not wasting my money recently, but something had to go and change that. Look. Anyway, uh, actually, I'm looking outside right now and it's about to rain, so I think I'm actually gonna leave the bead store until tomorrow and just edit for the rest of the day. But I was thinking while I was cleaning, I was wondering what would you guys like to see on this channel? Obviously, I wanna do some vlogs and the occasional DIY. I'm gonna be moving in the spring, so that's gonna be a whole, a whole thing like last time. But what would you like to see more of? On this channel do you want to see some of korea places to go do you want to see decorating do you want to see thrifting something completely different let me know i'd love to know what you guys want to see on tiktok recently i've been doing a lot of videos where i go to small boutique shops and homeware stores and just like take you around quickly i think maybe i can do more of that one here we did do that before christmas when we went to that little vintage store if you want to see more of that that would be fun because i actually find that going window shopping and not really buying anything or like only buying little tiny things to support the artists in the store is pretty good for my bank balance because i'm not like wasting a ton i'm just like there for the experience but am i encouraging you guys to spend your money when you come here maybe there's some great stores around anyway that's it for me and my tiny handbag i'm gonna go and edit see ya <laughs> My Christmas present to myself was this fun new toy for my camera. Well, it's kind of for my phone, but it's my camera setup. It's a gimbal, right? And it's a little tripod, but look. Oh, 
Oh, hey guys. Ooh, that is so cool. Okay, let's do some cool stuff with it. <laughs> It is almost 11 a.m. I have spent the morning editing some stuff and now I'm gonna go and head to the bead mall and I've managed to wrangle someone in to come with me. Natalie's coming with me, which is gonna be really fun. So let's head on over and check it out. See you guys later. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, Natalie said she just passed me on the bus, so let's see if we can find her. Well, if you want a silly update from me, Natalie said she was passing by Dongmyeong and she said, see you. I thought she said, I see you. I thought she meant, I'm on the bus and I see you. Oh, my bad. Anyway. Oh, good to see you. Yeah, oh, by the way, this is Natalie. You'll see a little bit more of her in a minute because she has a crazy scheme about what she's going to make. But if you've never met her before, she has a YouTube channel, an amazing one. So go check her out. But anyway, let's get on to the bead mall. This is the Dongdaemun shopping complex. It is six floors and a basement and four buildings worth of craft supplies from lace trim to feathers to iron on patches, fabric. Anything you could think of for any craft project is probably here. And I really want to come back another time and show you this place from top to bottom because it's incredibly overwhelming very easy to get lost in but it was it was way more impressive than I thought it was going to be so if you would like to see me go back and go for a bit more of a deep dive at some point let me know of course I'm caught looking at this fluffy pink thing that I didn't need anyway we're here looking at the beads there was a whole floor of just beads and all of the fixtures and fastenings that you would need for beads did I forget to get what I needed yes but I got some great stuff so let me show you a little bit more around the bead mall but first we have to check our Pinterest boards so we can get inspired for what we want to make Natalie this is this is where Natalie comes in she's got some crazy idea here so I was thinking, I was, okay, so realistically, I mean, this was like, oh, wait, that would be really cool, but realistically, I think. And which day are you going to start doing this? Um, Today? Yeah. So what I was thinking is probably making like a corset yeah. thing that I could do and then like a bubble skirt because I wanted to make something that I could still use mm -hmm. for, I still, like, I could still use, mm -hmm. not just like a one and done. And I made in a... Um, a detachable like lace like you know those little like, oh, like a, things yeah. but all you have to do is just like, yeah. this, this is all in my brain <laughs> like boom 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 and corset now I did so find, simple <laughs> I did find a pattern for a corset so you make sorry what you're making the corset from scratch yes. okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wish you could have seen her face. <laughs> <laughs> like your ma your <laughs> make your what? You're not buying the corset. If anyone can do it, it's you. <laughs> Thank you. And you're not your making a video about this? Mm. Okay, you can use this footage. There you go. There we go. There we go. Airdrop it, girl. Oh, well. <laughs> Go check out Natalie's channel. I hope she's made a video on the course that she's trying to make because that sounds like a lot of work for a very small amount of time. But anyway, here we are picking out some beads. I found way too many charms and beads for what I wanted. And yeah, very little of the stuff that I actually came in for. I, I got a bit distracted, did forget the jump rings. Thought I had some at home though, so in my defense. Anyway, downstairs there was loads of fabric that Natalie wanted to look through and this completely took me by surprise because they have so much of it. I think I'm gonna have to go back and make another video, but this is a little bit of the fabric area. With that being said, let's get on to making the actual necklaces. Hey, we are back and we're joined by today's special guest, which is Bing. Let's make some jewelry. So uh, that craft mall, that was a, that was an experience. I think I need to go back again another time and show you all six floors of that place because it was insane. Anything that you could think about for crafting, they had it. It was wool, fabric, lace, iron-on patches, trim, everything. Every different floor had different stuff. A little overwhelming, but today we're just doing the beads. So we'll go back another time and look at the rest of it. As for the beads, I didn't go to every single stand, but I did go to quite a few. And I have a bag of charms and then a bag of fixtures and some other beads. The reason I wanted to make these is because before Christmas I decided to take it upon myself to make a charm necklace and I ordered all the supplies online and I'm actually going to show you that footage because I made, I made something. So roll clips. This process didn't exactly go according to plan. When I'd arranged all my charms around the necklace, I'd realized that actually the chain isn't big enough to support the jump rings. I managed to get one on, but um, it was a bit of a nightmare. So I ended up switching to this bracelet, which actually, it looks really cute. And I'm very glad that I made it because we wouldn't be here making more of them if I didn't have this little slip up. Anyway, the whole process of adding the charms is pretty self-explanatory, but I will come back and show you a bit more in a minute. So as you can see, my necklace didn't really go to plan, but I do have a very, very cute bracelet now, which is here. Are you sniffing my head? Guys, Please don't put your butthole on camera. Trying to be professional today, thank you. That being said, the chains for the necklaces weren't working for the rest of the charms I had. And I wanted to go back primarily to get necklaces and the pieces I needed for those, which I did, but then I got distracted by more charms. I'm not sure what we're gonna make today, but we're gonna make some more stuff. So let's have a look and see what we can do. Let me show you the charms. Come here. By the way, please excuse my nails. I was about to do them this morning and then I thought they're just gonna get scratched by all the little jump rings. So they're kind of, um, just don't, don't look at them. <laughs> On my little Snoopy tray here, we have the leftover charms that I got from online. And these are my necklaces and bracelets that we're gonna use. And then we have these, and this is where I got carried away. Luckily, quite a lot of these were like 500 won, which is 30p, but, um, some of them were a bit more pricey, so we're just going to use them all up today and see what I can make. Okay, so we have enough for four things. 
We have my silly charm necklace, which is just like a bunch of toys and just cute little knickknacks. Then I put together this charm necklace, which is slightly more fancy. And then I'm gonna do two chain key rings. Same thing again, one with more plastic items and one with all of the gold bits that I have left over. It's at this point, I should probably take a picture of the layout so I don't forget in case I sneeze and knock it all over or something, but eh, here we are. Let's start with this one because I'm most excited for this because it's going to be fun. I've only got enough for one of that, that's fine. Let's start by adding the jump ring and clasp on the end. Why am I nervous? I feel like I'm nervous for this. Uh, might be because I only have a couple of clasps. I took this off of an old necklace. I'm gonna make it work. So we're gonna find the center there, and that's gonna be our middle piece. I know it's probably not done, but I am mixing gold and silver, because I think it looks cute. So yeah. Oh, not all of these have jump rings attached. Where can I borrow some rings from? Should I just go to Daiso and buy some? Maybe? Oh, we're back. Jump ring is open, thread through. People who do this for a living have a lot of patience and not very shaky hands. <laughs> Ta-da! So I'm just gonna keep going and uh, I'll see you when this one's done. Okay, so I'm trying this on, but already I can tell it's too low. I want it to be more where my H necklace is, like that. And then also this cola bottle could go a little bit higher up so that it lies more flat with the chain rather than like, because there's nothing on the other side to balance it out. But I like it. I think it's silly and cute. Hey guys, it's been a couple of days and I've actually finished up all of the little jewelry pieces that I've been making. I didn't want to bore you with the footage of me putting the jump rings on every single thing because it's the same process for all of them, but I wanted to show you how they all turned out. Here we go. First up, we obviously have the original, was meant to be a necklace, turned out to be a bracelet, charm bracelet. And I think this one is really, really cute. I don't wear bracelets all the time because they distract me, but if I'm not working, I'll put this on on the weekend sometimes. My favorite thing that I made was this necklace. This is a little bit more dainty than the one you saw me make, but you saw me plan it out. And this is just a charm necklace. It's got the H at the front and all these other little charms going on the side. And what I did for this one, I had a couple where they had loops on either end, like that one, like this one as well. So I don't know if you can tell, but I cut the chain with my clippers and use the jump rings to attach them like so, just for a little bit more interest so that they're not all doing the same thing. But then the other ones are dangly like that. Then we have this silly one that you saw me make, the charm necklace with all the little kitschy things on it. I just think this one's really fun. and just a little lighthearted. Would be nice with just a plain t-shirt or something like this that's not too like bold and patterned. I did adjust it so it should sit right. Ta-da! I really, really like this one. I just think it's just fun and a little different. And then I have the two matching key rings. One ended up a lot longer than the other. When I cut this chain, because it was actually so, so very long, I was able to get enough for 
these two keyring chains as well. What I did with these is basically the same as the necklace, but we're just hanging it this way, and I'm gonna hang these off my bags. This one, again, was another one with the chunky charms. I really like this. I think that's gonna look really fun on one of my bags. If you don't like this in necklace form, but you do like the way it looks, maybe a keyring might be more up your alley. And then we just have the little dainty one. I really like the charms on this. We've got a little flower, a star, a heart with a butterfly. This little matchstick that I love. I think that's just really cute. The thing that I like most about this necklace in particular and the bracelet is that hopefully I can make it grow with me and if I travel to a new country or I have a nice memory and I find a charm I can then swap one of these out for the charm and then make it a little bit more personalized to me. But yeah that's how they turned out. I'm really pleased with them. They make really good gifts. Sorry that it's after Christmas now, but I feel like this is an all year round gift. You can give to a friend or a family member, or you can make them together and then like buy each other charms every birthday or something. I don't know, it's just really cute. I had fun with that. My goodness, why are we drilling? You have something to say? Oh, oh, hey. You gonna look outside? They're drilling outside, so I think this is a really good time to wrap this up. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great week. Let me know in the comments what you're going to be making if you're crafting anything this weekend. Are you going to do a charm necklace? Let me know if they're doing construction outside your house as well. They're always doing construction here. Anyway, have a great week. I'll see you next time. Bye.